PR is a tangent to a circle with center O and radius 4 cm at point Q. If angle POR is 90 degrees, OR is 5 cm and OP is 20 by 3 cm, then in centimeters, the length of PR is. The answer options given are 3, 16 by 3, 23 by 3 and 25 by 3. So let's, let's uh, take a circle here. Right, this is a circle, let's say. It says PR is a tangent to a circle with center O. The circle is with center O and radius is 4 cm at point Q. So PR is a tangent. Let's say this is the tangent. This is the tangent at point Q. This is the point Q. Okay. And this is P e and R. Okay. PR is a tangent for the circle at point Q. At point Q means what? The tangent touches the circle at point Q. Now we know that angle POR is 90 degrees. Angle POR is 90 degrees. So let's connect these two and these two here. Angle POR is 90 degrees. This is given as 90 degrees. Okay. And OR is 5 centimeter, right? So this is 5 centimeter here. And OP is 20 by 3 centimeter. OP is 20 by 3 centimeter. Okay. O is the center of the circle. And I think you also know that the radius is 4 centimeter, right? Radius of the circle is 4 centimeter. So let us uh, drop this line here. This is 4 centimeter. Okay. Radius from O to the point Q is radius of the circle. All right. And we also know that the angle uh, made at the point of tangency is a right angle, right? So this will be 90 degrees. And this angle will also be 90 degrees. Yes or no? These two angles, the angle made by the line joining the center and the point of tangency with the tangent is always 90 degrees. This is one of our very important properties of tangents, right? That's it. I think if you have constructed the figure this way, then you are done, right? All we need to do now is we have to find out the length PR. Now to find out PR, you must first know what is PQ, right? And what is QR? Find out these two individually and then add them to get the complete length, right? If you look at the triangle PQO, in triangle PQO, what can we say? So this is like a right angle triangle, right? Right angle triangle. So we can say uh, PQ squared plus 4 squared equals to 20 by 3 whole squared. So from this PQ will be equal to root over 20 by 3 whole squared, right? Minus 4 squared. So what will be the solution here? Uh, this is like 400 by 9 minus 16. So 9 into 16. 400 minus 16 into 9 by 9. So 16 into 9 is 144. 400 minus 144 is 256, right? So PQ will be equal to square root of 256 by 9, which comes out to be 16 by 3. This is one half of the solution. Consider the other right angle triangle, right? The triangle uh, RQO. RQO. Here, what can we say? Uh, RQ squared plus 4 squared should be equal to 5 squared. So from this, you can say RQ equals to 3. I mean, this is like a very common triplet, right? 3, 4 will give you 5 in Pythagoras. 3 squared plus 4 squared will give you 5 squared. So RQ equals to 3. That's it. We need complete length PR. Therefore, we can say PR, which is equal to PQ plus RQ. 16 by 3 plus 3. How much will this be? 16 by 3 plus 3. 16 plus uh, 9. 9 by 3. 16 plus 9 by 3 is 25 by 3. Option 4 will be the answer. This actually is a lengthier solution. We can directly apply Pythagoras theorem to the bigger triangle, right? Let's do that as well. What do we do? Consider the triangle uh, POR. POR. This is the right angle triangle, right? So here we can say uh, PR square. See this. This angle is 90 degrees, right? So we can say PR square equals to PO square plus RO square. So from this, PR will be root over PO. 20 by 3 square plus 5 square. Simplify. What do we get? This is like uh, 400 plus 25 into 9, right? 25 into 9 is 225. 400 plus 225 is 625. 
divided by 9. So 625 under root is 25, right? So this will give you 25 by 3. So that's much simpler, right? From the triangle POR itself. Yes. Right, so the answer here will be option 4, 25 by 3. 